Hi there, welcome to section 2, GeoServer Installation and Setup. In this section you will be guided through installation of GeoServer. We will cover different styles of GeoServer installation step by step, starting with the installer in Windows with the embedded Jetty Servlet container, adding plugins and the Java cryptography extension. Then we'll look at installing on Linux and the standalone binary on the Tomlet Servlet container. Finally, we'll run GeoServer for the first time. In the previous section, we covered GeoServer hardware and software environment, the foundation on which GeoServer runs. In this video, we will go step by step through installing GeoServer on Windows so you can get up and running. We will be using the GeoServer installer to handle most of the details of the installation for us. The installer deploys GeoServer with the Jetty Servlet container embedded. It depends on a JRE already being installed. These uh, topics are both covered in video 1.2. We will also use the installer to configure an administrative user to open a port and to run it as a Windows service. This video will explain those details in more depth so you know what you're installing. Before installing GeoServer, let's set the Java home environment variable. An environment variable is a key value pair that is accessible to programs running under Windows. Environment variables are set under the System Properties dialog accessible by right-clicking on the My Computer icon and selecting Properties from the Start menu or the Desktop. In Advanced System Settings and in System Properties under Environment Variables, create a new system variable. The variable name is Java underscore Home, all caps, and the value is the path to your JRE directory. As you can see, here is the default after installing Oracle JRE 8. Next, to obtain the GeoServer installer, First, navigate to the GeoServer downloads page at geoserver.org slash downloads. There you will find the latest stable release. By clicking that link, you will navigate to a page with packages for various platforms. We are using the installer for Windows platforms, so click on this link to download it. Besides source code and documentation, you can also download existing or additional extensions from this location. We will come back to this page in video 2.2. The installer has been downloaded. The file is named GeoServer dash, followed by the version number. It's an executable file with a .exe extension. If your Windows instance is set up to show file extensions, you'll see that. Execute this file to start the GeoServer installer. You can accept the default location in the x86 program files directory on the C drive or install anywhere else like a secondary drive. If you decide to install on another drive, it would be a good idea to make sure that it's a fast drive as noted in 1.1. Solid state is ideal. Although GeoServer is a 32-bit program, it will run on the JRE and hopefully you've already installed a 64-bit one. You will be prompted to select your JRE. The path to your JRE will be pre-populated from the Java underscore home environment variable that we set earlier in this video. When you are prompted to select your data directory, Note that this does not need to be under the same directory as your GeoServer install. In fact, since this contains all data that will be migrated when you update GeoServer, and since this directory will expand with more data, you probably don't want to have it under the same directory, and maybe even have it on separate disk. As with the GeoServer directory, disk speed is a consideration. And I should note that a migration could be if you're putting it into production on a different machine or doing an update. The port number will be used in your URL to access your GeoServer instance from your browser, for instance. For example, if you have a separate servlet container running, for example, Tomcat, it sometimes uses 8080 as a default port and that will cause a conflict. Using a different port number for your production machine is also good practice to make your instance just a little bit less discoverable for those that might wish to cause you harm. The installer gives the option of running GeoServer as a service. If you intend for this machine to go into production, or if you're developing your app in a team environment, service is definitely a, the better option. This is comparable to a daemon under Linux, a program that runs on startup and is installed for all users, rather than just the account you're installing under, probably an account with administrative privileges. That's probably not good. The installer advises that it requires a 32-bit JRE, though I have found this not to be the case. Before installing runs, a summary provides you with details of all the options you've selected. You might want to take a screenshot of this for reference in the future. As the installer runs, you can see how GeoServer is a modular project as all of its separate components are extracted one by one. You've now completed installation of GeoServer on Windows. 